Hi, this is Craig Brown from the Brooke Hancock Jefferson Metropolitan Planning Commission, and I'm in downtown Steubenville at the Prodigal Daughter. It is an eclectic shop with teas and soaps and all kinds of interesting trinkets and knickknacks, etc. But COVID-19 has thrown a wrench into things here. Tell me more about your experience with COVID-19 here in downtown Steubenville. Um, I, it's really uh, put a dent in the foot traffic. Um, it's foot traffic in downtown, it's not great, but with COVID, so many people are just afraid to be out and about. Once things opened up earlier this summer, things started to feel like they were rebounding a little bit, but I think with these new strains that are out there and, and people are afraid again, um, I think people are just not coming out like they used to, and it's been tough. <coughs> I, I can only imagine you know, a lot of challenges here. Are you, have you done anything to, to adapt or have you changed the way you do things or are you just kind of trying to sell out the storm? Um, I guess a lot of it is um, I, I've, I've dallied with trying to get online. I'm, I'm so bad with technical things and I get so frustrated easily with that. I'm, I'm not online. I'm, I'm trying to get the store online. I think that would help a little bit. Um, I do notice if I... Um, if I try to do more with social media, put things out there, at least it gets people talking a little bit about the store. It doesn't always translate to people coming into the store, but I have been able to sell some things um, just from posting them on Facebook or Instagram, I, I, and that does help. I'm just not consistent with it. Again, the, the technology angle is, I'm old, <laughs> and technology and I just don't get along. But I'm, I'm definitely trying. I'm. Um, I'm hoping within the next uh, month to have an online store up and going, uh, and I think that will help a lot. Well, that will be exciting, and I certainly hope you, you do keep us informed. I know that you said some things about preferring a brick and mortar store earlier. I do. And could you tell me a little bit about that? Why is that your preferred method of business? Um, I love the interaction. I remember shopping with my grandmother as a child. I grew up in the area. Um, she was a teacher at Big Red and she loved downtown. She'd grown up in the downtown area and, and she loved downtown. Uh, and I can remember as a child coming shopping and, and you just, you talk to people and you meet people and that's the part of it that I like. I like the interaction that you get when people walk through the door and you can talk to them. I love to watch people come in, especially like a group of people that will come in and they just wander and they look and they'll laugh at things and talk about things and you can just feel that energy. And that to me is what you get from having a brick and mortar operation as opposed to online. Yeah, you might get a feedback of somebody writes a little blurb or something like that, but it's not the same as feeling their energy personally as they walk through your store. That's a, that's a really good point. Thank you so much for talking with us and hopefully things will get turned around pretty soon. I hope so. Thank I look you. forward to seeing people through the doors. Thank you. Thank you.